Hello, my name is Aron Halil. I am an account manager for Daiquiri and also work with the sales and business development side. Welcome to the Augmented World Expo 2013. This is our booth. We've designed the aesthetic to replicate the 1893 World's Fair and have divided each corner to represent the four verticals which we feel are the most conducive to innovation and technology. So we have engineering right behind me. We've got toys and gamification in the corner over here. Behind these lovely folks over here, we've got a market. And all the way to the back corner is science and medicine. So if you join me on a tour real quick, we can show you a little bit of what we do in incorporating augmented reality into these verticals. So the University of Illinois is one of our clients. They were having a hard time getting cadavers for their nursing students, so we went ahead and augmented a cadaver. What we're doing here is using image recognition software to find the unique points of contrast on this image, which is hosted on our cloud. It's pulling down the corresponding experience, and we'll be able to see what we call 4D, which is the interaction of 3D objects in real time and space. So I have my body here. I can change the opacity, sliding up the scroll. I'm going to come in a little bit closer here, and you'll notice these switches. Musculatory, skeletal, circulatory system. I can turn each system off and isolate. Explore the body. Lost a little bit of tracking there. Bring it back. Experience will reset. If I want to change from male to female, I can change the gender. Once again, I can isolate the different parts of the body. And provide students with a very in-depth, experiential look at the body. Now I'm going to show you an example of another 3D rendering we did. This is of the human brain. Once again, finding unique points of contrast that make this image unique. We've got our 3D brain, pinpoints to map our way around. Using this crosshair, I can isolate the cerebrum, oral lobe, frontal lobe, I'm sorry. And with each one of these interactions, we're able to capture comprehensive data and analytics. So I know exactly what experience has been activated. So if I were as a teacher and I wanted to provide this as an assignment and identify certain points, I would be able to check each student's progress based on what experiences they unlocked or didn't. And I can actually even go into the brain because that's how comprehensive our models are. You can see the individual cells. And all within real time and space. We can take the interaction one step further. So I'm going to switch out apps here and use Enchantium, which is our more advanced game recognition software. So these are our chemistry blocks. This is sodium. And when we identify it, we've got the atomic name, short and long, atomic weight, an example of some sodium blocks for reference. Now we're going to introduce chlorine into the situation. Same example, atomic weight, plus a physical representation of the element. And then when I combine these two elements together, they will form the corresponding compound, table salt. So over here we have our marketing station. As you know, the print industry is suffering a little bit. They've got to compete with digital. So we're trying to come up with ways to make print providers, marketers, advertisers be able to compete and not only compete, but be able to be empowered even further than the digital. So over here, for example, we have our Contemporary Gentleman magazine. I'm going to scan the image. And once again, it's identifying unique points of contrast. And we've enabled video on page. Now, as opposed to a QR code, which is going to kick you out to a web browser and give you a YouTube video, something you can do on your own, this is providing full context. Oh, my hand's shaking like crazy. So the video you're seeing is actually on that page and not taking you out to a separate browser. Another way we can use this to enable print and empower it 
to be able to double up on the real estate and to unlock hidden content. So I'm scanning this image here. And it's going to generate crosshairs and these individual stars. And as I drag the crosshairs over the star, I'm unlocking 3D assets and information. And I can explore these guys. So this is a great way to essentially double up on what you're able to put on the page and provide exclusive content for your customers. And now we have all these images and assets on a print page. Taking another example of how we can empower print is using catalogs. And on all of our experiences, we're able to capture comprehensive metrics and analytics. So similar here, I'm going to take this box, I'm going to go over the item, I'm going to tap the item, <laughs> I'm going to tap the item, point of sale instantly, so print can now compete with e-commerce and mobile commerce. I'm getting back to my comment about the metrics and analytics, we can then go back to the client and say, we've got eight pieces of furniture on here, however people are only looking at these two and we can tell them exactly how many times they've been looked at, where in the country it happened, and really let them understand more about their customer base. And apparently Guy is speaking on AR Medical Technology. <laughs> so I'm off, guys. So this is our toys and gamification station over here. I'm going to show you a little bit how we can do a new twist on an old favorite with our model train. It appears to be a simple box. I'm going to take my device, place it over the track, and now we've generated a 3D environment with a 3D train. And there it comes. And it's going to go through the tunnel. And if you'll follow me up here to the top of the box, we have a look into the other side of this 3D world. And we can actually follow the train. And really explore that world on the other side. I'm going to bring it back out. I'm going to kick it up a notch ever so slightly. I've got my switch at the bottom here. Activate that switch. Now when I go back up here, I've got the point of view of the train on the other side. Now I'm going to take it even one step further. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to get the point of view of the train with the model train in the box. So it's passing through the farm, and as it's coming up on that tunnel, we're going to see it come out on our side, and there it is. It's been around the bend, back up into the tunnel. See you next time. So another example of toy gamification is using a card game. So we actually were inspired by Dungeons & Dragons and Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, games like that. We had intricate characters with specific powers that exist pretty much on the card. What we want to do is bring that action to life. So I'm going to scan my character here. I've got my robot avatar. I've got his power. I've got his speed. Um, menacing eyebrows, yeah. and you'll notice the negative space yes. in the card for him to hide in. So now what I'm going to do is introduce another character into the scene. They're going to recon recognize each other. And they duke it out. And their fight is going to be based on the interaction that I provide. So if I pull further back, they're going to hit further away. If I pull my guy down into the hole so he can't get hit, and then come up for a sneak attack. What's the app you're using? The name of the company. And eventually we'll be able to have two people simultaneously playing this with their own iPad. Right now you and I can play using one. But in order to really make the gamification that much more experiential and immersive, you want to be able to add more characters over time. Four, six, eight. Before you know it, you're playing a full basketball game on your table with all your friends. 
So over here at our engineering table, we're able to augment blueprints and provide more than just a schematic and see exactly how these devices are operating. We can do this for machines, we can do this for houses, really provide someone with a little more than just a blueprint and get them to understand how things operate and work. Houses, cars, machines, and then we can further isolate the individual components. And we'll finish off with a little old classic in theme with our World's Fair. Once again, recognize the individual points, and we'll bring that horse to life. My name is Aron. Thank you for stopping by the Daiquiri booth. This is what we're doing for this year.